this is Mr. Ward, and this is the pre-algebra exit 33.1 video key, and um, we're going to take a look at a 3D um, Pythagorean theorem uh, question. So what is the length of the diagonal? Well, the length of the diagonal is going to be the square root of the sum of the squares of the length, width, and height. So I can treat that as like a squared plus b squared plus c squared equals d squared, and then get the square root of both sides. So d will equal the square root of a, we could say a squared plus b squared plus c squared. We could say x squared plus y squared plus c squared. We can just say, I'm going to use a squared because that's what we're more familiar with. a squared plus b squared plus c squared. Okay, we're going to get the square root of all that. So let's see what that all is going to equal. Make that a little bigger so we can see things better. Okay, that's a little better. Okay, so let's figure out what we are doing. So well, let's say A is the length, so that'll be 20 squared. And B will be the width, so that'll be 6 squared. And C will be the height, so which will also be 6 squared. Okay, so let's keep going. So 6 squared is 36, and 6 squared is also 36, and 20 squared is going to be 400. And now we're going to add all that together. So D is going to be the square root. That's going to be 36 plus 36 is 72, and then that plus 400 is 472. Now... To simplify the square root of 472, it'll be useful to know the factors of 472. So we can start breaking that down. Let's see, 472. Okay, we can split that into 2 times 236, which we can split down further into 2 times 118 which we can split into 2 times 59. So we're not going to be able to get any square roots out of the just the 2 and the 59, but 2 times 2 is 4, so we can take just one of those out of square root jail. And so we'll be left with, when we get the square root of that, that'll be 2, and, the square, and that's just going to be the square root of 118. So let's do that. So D is going to equal 2 square root of 118 units. Now, that's the exact answer. If we wanted to get the estimated answer, we can work that out. Let me actually put parentheses there. I don't need parentheses, really. I could put them there. So calculate it. 2 times the square root of 18 is going to be about 21.7. Okay, so D equals 21.7 units estimated bounded decimal. Okay. Okay, so there we go. Now let's take a look at this. What is the radius of the semicircle? Well, its diameter is 8, so the radius equals half of 8, or 4 centimeters. And that will be useful for figuring out the area of that semicircle. And what's the altitude of this triangle? Well, the altitude from A to CB, since this is isosceles, is going to split CB into two equal parts. So that's going to be 4, and that's 7. So we're going to have 7 squared minus 4 squared. And that's going to be 40, and that'll equal the altitude squared, I should say. It equals the altitude or height. So that's going to be 49. 
minus 16. And that's going to equal 33. <clears throat> 33 is going to equal altitude squared. So if that equals altitude squared, altitude will equal the square root of 33. And square root of 33 is irreducible. So the altitude is equals the square root of 33 uh, centimeters. Since that's the units we got working here. So now what would the com what is the combined area of the shape? So we know now that we knew some stuff. We know that this is the square root of 33 centimeters. Those are all centimeters. We know that the radius is 4. We know we have a semicircle. We know the base of that triangle is 8. So what we're going to do is we're going to add half. Let me do that again. <clears throat> 